You know, I love this particular passage of scripture. This is the last chapter in Ephesians. You know, we've, we've talked about a lot of things, but there's a lot of people who don't really quote this. They know one verse and uh, that's chapter 10, they say, or chapter six, verse 10 in Ephesians. It says, I know this verse, finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might for we, the whole armor, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the, the, the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritualities and principles. But they don't read what's before it. <laughs> and today, beloved, we're gonna look at what is before that because that spiritual principle is important. But what did God say? He didn't just say that one you know, set of verses. He said the whole chapter. So let's look at that. Get your Bible guide, turn to today's passage. And if you don't have your Bible guide, why not? Let me tell you that in the new year, we have an outstanding Bible guide coming your way. I'm telling you, it's better than we've ever done before. Uh, I'm just saying, and it's really something. And if you wanna get on that list, Get on that list today because it's important. Write to us at the addresses at the bottom or go to www.biblediscoverytv, biblediscoverytv.com. When you go there, uh, just do me a favor and do us a favor and pray about what God would have you give because a donation's important. That keeps us alive here. So, you know, we're not supported by some big grant somewhere. It's just simple donations. That's how we're supported because we trust the work of the Holy Spirit in you. Very, very important. But as we look at this, we need to understand something, and that's this. Basic conduct for believers. What does that mean? What is a believer? A believer is somebody who believes in Jesus Christ. That's a believer. Basic conduct for those who believe in Jesus Christ. In other words, how should a Christian act or react? You know, that's very important because a lot of people think they know today and they read the Bible and they realize, well, wait a minute, I don't think I should be doing that. It's a really good point. We read Ephesians chapter five and six, as we look at Ephesians chapter six, one to eight, Father, I want to pray today as we study these verses that we're coming up on. I pray that we ask that you would help us through your Holy Spirit to decide and to learn from you. Holy Spirit, I ask you to be free to move in our audience. Be free to move in the people watching on the phone. Be free to move in the people watching on the internet, the people watching on television. Wherever we are at, I simply pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would be free, not me, but they would see your Holy Spirit, which is very important. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. As we look at the scripture in chapter six, verse one, this is how it starts. Children, he's talking to kids. He says, I want you to pay attention. Do you think God wants the children to listen to him? Yes, children's ministry is critical, absolutely important. A church should have a children's ministry all the time. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. Did you know that? It's true. That it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Beloved, we need to understand children, we need to realize when we live as God tells us to, we experience a better life. Conduct of believers, that's what we're talking about. It is not what we do, but who we become with the Lord. It's not what we do, but who we become. When I say, I'm Rod Hembry and this is what I do, that's how I normally introduce myself. But for you to really know me, you have to get to know me. You have to learn how I react and act and, and who I have become. Now that's how God says the people we are is exposed. Look at this now, chapter six, verse four. And you, he's gonna talk to the fathers, so fathers pay attention. It's also for grandfathers. And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath. Don't do it. Don't provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Have we done that? Dads, grandfathers, have we done that? Fathers must raise their children in the training and the admonition of the Lord. The Holy Spirit helps us. One of the things that tremendously grieves my heart 
is the distress that the family's in in North America today. I have never seen such great distress in my life as the family's in. I mean, kids are just being raised by the state. They're being raised by single parents left, right, and center. Most of them are women. Fathers, hello. We need the dads to be intact and we need the dads to, to get with God and, and understand that they're important. So very important. Beloved, we need to listen to that. Now listen carefully. He says in verse 5, bond servants, workers. Bond servants, that's amazing, you know? Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters, your employers, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and sincerity of heart, as to Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with goodwill doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or whether he is free. God sets a standard here. And, and the standard is this, we must work well, we must work in peace, if at all possible. We must do that. Because divisiveness and trash talk cannot be allowed in our workplaces. Trash talk, gossip, all that stuff. You know what? I think it's important for us to recognize as workers, as people who are involved in this, that we don't need to trash talk. And we don't need to start telling people about what they said or what he said or what we said. Or It's not important. They may have said some very bad things, done some very bad things. We may be uh, somewhat treated unfair. But we need to work as if we're working to Christ and pay attention to our jobs. Not get involved in the downward spiral of, of uh, trash talk about this person or that person. We don't need to do that. God speaks to the believers in Jesus Christ, the bond servants, and he says, listen to me. I've talked to the fathers and I've talked to the children. I need to talk to you workers now. Work well. It, it doesn't matter if you like your job or not. That, that, that's not, I'm not interested in that. God says you need to work as if you're working for me. And that's a standard of work ethic that believers in Jesus Christ have because it comes from the Bible. That's Paul talking to the people in Ephesus. He's telling them the truth. He says, I want you to work like that. Very important. Father, you know, I want to pray today that you would help us to, to live this in our life, to, to articulate it, to begin to work this way. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Think you can read the Bible in one year? Click the Bible Guide links and make a donation in any amount. Start your daily devotional today.